WWDB Sinatra's Spectacular continues. This time, a friend of Frank, Buddy Greco from Philadelphia. Sinatra has been instrumental in helping many performers. Buddy and I chatted about what it's like to be a friend of Frank Sinatra. We have often talked about Frank Sinatra, but I don't think we've ever really gone into any kind of depth uh, about your relationship with Frank other than the fact that you two guys are friends. Uh, you probably see him more than most uh, guys here in Philadelphia. We see him occasionally, maybe every two or three years when he walks across to Delaware. I see Frank quite a bit. We're at home a lot, and uh, we spend not a lot of time in his company because he's very busy, and so am I, but I don't know if it's coincidence or maybe if we plan it that way. We're usually in Vegas at the same time. I'm at the Sands, and Frank's at Caesars, and I saw him uh, at the uh, Caesars, I think about three months ago when I was at the Sands, and then Frank closed, and Nancy opened at the International. And it's funny, uh, Frank invited my wife and I to go see Nancy, and uh, we went to the International Hotel, and uh, Danny, my wife, and I, and Milton Burrow and his wife, and Rod McEwen, and a doctor friend of mine. There's about 10 of us in an elevator. And we got stuck in an elevator. Now, it's funny now, but I must tell you, whoever the idiot was that built the International Hotel forgot to put a fan in the elevator or an escape hatch, and 12 of us sat in an elevator and after 15 minutes, when all the shirt and ties and the jackets came off, and there was no breathing room, pal, you never saw, Rod McEwen got panicky. He wrote six new poems, right? Poems, yes, yeah, called uh, Hail Mary. <laughs> and everybody just got, you know, wiped out. And as luck would have it, uh, my friend and I kind of forced the door open to get some air because the, the women passed out. It was it's really right. frightening, yeah. And he was quite concerned, and he, you know, really raised, you know, a lot. What do you figure is the, you know, people call me, uh, I've been with Frank for like just the one time in Vegas, but the association, as far as I'm concerned, is just great. Uh, people ask me, what is Frank's whole new thing with songs? Why is he doing uh, all the mature things? Why is it now my way? Why are they all tunes that seem like they're all like, goodbye folks, I'm going forever, this might be the last record. Try to forget, you know, alone in my apartment. Well, Frank has been threatening and uh, I say threatening, and I hope that's all it is, because he's been threatening to quit, because he certainly doesn't need the money, and he certainly doesn't need any more, uh, you know, cherished things that everybody loves about Frank or hates about him. Mm -hmm. uh, he just wants to quit. He's tired, and he wants to do it, but he'll be out of the business for about three months, and the next thing, you know, he's coming back roaring again like a lion. And no matter what you say, you know, everything's been said, and again, the only way that I could say it is because of my friendship with Frank. He's a gentleman, he's a giant in our business, and uh, you just can't say anything about this man. I mean, and we mentioned, you know, three years ago when you and I were talking about this program and everything, and when I mentioned to Frank uh, that you were doing the Sinatra thing, as I told you, he just looked up at me with those, you know, blue eyes and said, I know all about Sid Marcus. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I got my spies that told me about it. And this is true. You know, I told you this. I'm not saying it. He says, I know all about it. He says, you've got to give him my best. And when we ask for the picture and everything else. So he's aware of everybody and everything that is happening. Now Frank has become so sensitive as a real adult that uh, he's become sensitive to people like Rod McEwen and a Jimmy Webb and a Bird Backrack. You know, he's just getting into that thing. How difficult is it for Buddy Greco to remain Buddy Greco? You know, how difficult is it for you to come to Philadelphia? That's one of the main reasons that we don't open the phone with a guest anymore because I think it was the second or third time you were here. Remember we did the beat phone? Yeah. People were calling saying, gee, buddy, don't you remember me? I went to high school. Uh, don't you? I met you at the restaurant. Well, that is Mr. Buddy Greco. Buddy, a very good friend of Frank Sinatra's. And we continue with more of the Sinatra Spectacular 1970.